Sup guys, this is ChemDrawer1 here from the ChemDrawer1 studio once again, and today I'll be showing you a little mini mock I made as well as some updates and developments. So, let's just start from what you can see right here, and that is what I call the 20mm defense mock. As you can see, this is mine a 20 millimeter I made and and it is all mine actually it is all mine so I don't give credit to anyone except for Brick Clear for giving me for just watching his video and giving me inspiration on to make my own 20 millimeter so let us walk through the details of this mock First you can see it is basically countryside by a little river. Well, it's not really a river, but because the river would be going one way or the other. And it obviously wouldn't be crashing up onto this bank. So it's more like a lake with currents. So as you can see, like the surf is crashing up and yeah. So now let us explore this mock. So, as you can see right here, this is a fallen German right here. And, and his um his um ally is taking cover behind his body against the invisible attackers who are attacking from that side. I wanted this mock's focus to just be on the 20 millimeter and its Germans, not uh, the battle itself. So then, this ally has an MP40, he's firing. And over here, we have a Lego MG42 heavy gunner. He is also providing support, he's protecting the 20 millimeter. The 20 millimeter is also firing. That's why there is an operator right here. And then here's one more guy. I apologize for the bad decals. I'll be changing those soon. And I guess you can see that one's like falling off. Mostly because I didn't I used horrible glue and also I didn't use water slide decals because those are expensive and can't just get those online. Like I did. So, then here's the 20mm itself. I'm not going to be reviewing it right now because that will be in a separate video. So, yeah. Um, and there's a hill right there. And this is like one of the rare times that I toy with terrain. As you can see, like, it goes up and then goes up there too. Because terrain for me is just hard like to do mostly because of my lack of pieces like I don't have that many pieces compared to the popular like a World War two people so yeah and so now for the update section of the video I will I will black out the webcam for a tiny bit just because I want to keep it a surprise until I reveal it them I apologize if you're getting bored already, but being bored is just part of life, so deal with it, deal with it. Um, yeah, it's almost done. And I think I am done. Well, no, no, not yet. Um, still have one more thing. And yeah, so here it is at the camera focus. Ta-da! Um, as you can see, I've made new decals on my Americans and my British guys. These are handmade decals. They're. I was inspired to do this by Mr. Pearl Jack, who who 
did handmade decals in his World War II Battle of Felice, Felice pocket. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this these turned out extremely nice. And how I did this was basically by sanding the um, Lego print off the fronts of the torsos. Obviously, if I was using water slide decals, I wouldn't do this because that would create a rough surface and the water slide decals wouldn't apply evenly. I would have to buy and use Brasso, but I didn't want to do that, so I just sanded them down and did handmade decals. Because if I was just using the normal Lego print decals, they wouldn't all look the same. And obviously, this is an army, and like the U.S. infantry, they have relatively the same uniforms. I mean, vary based on rank, but basically, they're all the same. And with Lego um, printed, printed tan like torsos, like they vary in different types of prints. So I didn't really want that. So I decided to make them all look the same. This is my best. I think um, this is my best guy by far, mostly because of the detail. Like my British guys, I put a lot of detail into. Come on, camera, do your focusing stuff. It's like it partly focuses, but then it doesn't focus whenever I. Oh well. Here. Let's try this. Try that. And there's the back of him. I based it off of an actual paper decal on the internet. And I just drew the details of it. And it looks more original, I think. And it doesn't look as bad as paper decals because yeah. And then lastly but certainly not least is my Lego Pack 36. Pack 36 was I I think well the Pack 36 was one of the smallest like anti-tank type of guns there was and it's very nice. Um, it's mostly just a uniform light gray color, which makes it look very. Um, um, professional. There are some gr dark gray parts, but those aren't that visible from the front. And if you look at the light dark gray through the grill, it just adds more detail, so that's cool. And then there's a wheel right here just to add more detail. And this is where the Germans would load in the shell. And I actually do have a shell around here. And it's just two pieces, very simple. Just insert it there, and then shot from the shell would shoot out from the front. So yeah, this along with my 20 millimeter are very great, and this is basically a review. So yeah, um, that is basically all for this Lego updates video. This is very successful. And another thing, come to note, I have a brick arms order coming in, so. Along with that brick arms order, whenever it comes in, I will be reviewing the 20 millimeter, hopefully, or I'll just do them separately. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching my videos once again, and please to show your support, drop a like, and if you want to, subscribe, please. So, yeah, guys, have a great weekend, and... Peace.